The Battle of Agar Falernus happened in the early fall of 217 BC. It was the first battle between Hannibal Barca and Quintus Fabius Maximus Variacosus. What happened? What were the events before it? What was the geography of Agar Falernus? What was the Fabian strategy? Find out today on Roman history. After the victory at Lake Trasimene, the Romans held an election to decide on a dictator, Fabius Maximus. He was a two-time consul and one-time censor, and his magister equitum, master of the horse, or second-in-command was Marcus Minucius Rufus, a plebeian and a novice homo, new man, the first male in his family to serve political office. A Roman dictator could be for military and non-military purposes. The last military dictator, Aulus Attilius Caladinus, held the dictatorial office in 249 BC. However, Fabius was sometime between 221 and 219 BC for elections. They organized Rome's defense with two legions and recruited two more and allies. Meanwhile, Consul Nea Servilius Geminus recaptured a town from the Gauls but had to return to Rome to defend. They recruited four legions and would train along the way, freedmen with children of military age, and from urban areas with less than 35-year-old men to serve the Roman navy. After religious services, Fabius and Minucius went to Narnia through the Via Flaminia, Flaminian Way, to meet with Geminus. Fabius chose Geminus to be proconsul and go to Ostia, a port city. Also, they received two additional legions. In addition, they had an equal number of allies from him, so the Roman army was up to roughly 40,000 men. After that, they cautiously marched down to Iki, modern-day Troia, through the Via Appia, Appian Way, and had scouts go ahead and find Hannibal's position. For Hannibal's army, they went to Apulia, on the Adriatic coast, for its rich produce, especially grain. However, his army had suffered terrible conditions since their march from the Alps. They used wine to wash the horses suffering a skin disease, mange. Also, they took care of their health. After their recovery, they attacked Apulia and the Iapigia district through a scorched earth tactic. He tried to take the town of Spoletum but failed. Instead, he went to the Pisantine territory for its abundant produce and livestock. The first encounter was a six mile distance from each other. Hannibal was at Arpi and Fabius at Iki. Hannibal tried to get Fabius down from his position to fight him. But he refused. He realized Fabius was a different opponent than Sempronius Longus at the Trebia River and Gaius Flaminius at Lake Trasimene. Hannibal mocked the Romans for his troops to see its weakness and shyness, some Roman soldiers respected Hannibal. He decided to go to Campania, and the aristocrats had their villas. The route from Arpi to Campania started with Hannibal plundering Roman lands and their allies to make a point, Rome could not protect them. Meanwhile, Fabius used the indirect approach, the Fabian strategy. He harassed Carthaginian stragglers, foraging and raiding parties, he stayed on the high ground where Hannibal could not use his Numidian cavalry and shadowed the Carthaginian army. It had two purposes, grind him to attrition and raise Roman morale. However, Minucius disagreed and wanted a more offensive, aggressive approach, and it became unpopular with the people and the Senate due to his desire to stop Hannibal's invasion. Nevertheless, Fabius refused, which frustrated Hannibal. Hannibal went into the Apennines in Samnium and to Beneventum, a Roman colony. His army plundered it before heading into the wealthy town of Vinutia. He traveled to Campania for a few reasons, to force Fabius to fight and make Rome look weak to its allies. Campania was also known for its wines and apples, had harbors and the baths of Sinuessa, and was close to the Tyrrhenian Sea. Later in the Second Punic War, Campania became more significant. As for Fabius' army, they were one or two days behind and had to catch up while Hannibal's Numidian cavalry commander Maharbal plundered the Ager Falernum. The Romans arrived and took well-defended positions on the hills to surround Hannibal. Fabius knew Campania did not have as much grain as Apulia, so Hannibal had to return where he came and establish winter quarters. There were a few skirmishes before the battle. 
A Roman officer, Lucius Hostilius Mancinus, led 400 allied cavalry for scouting and attacked the Numidians, an immediate success. However, it made him overconfident, and the Numidian cavalry commander, Cart Halo, used the opportunity and defeated and executed him. On the same day, Minucius came and defended the pass of Lachali in the south. Another one had 200 Roman losses to 800 Carthaginians. Hannibal realized he could not stay in Campania but had to find some way to get past the Roman encirclement. The geography of the Roman and Carthaginian position had the north and west of Samnium, a Roman base south of Capua, Formia on the north, and Laternum and Silva Gallinaria on the south. Fabius and Hannibal's positions were two miles apart, he on the north uphill and Hannibal on the south. First, Hannibal had his army eat dinner and sleep early for a night escape. Second, his subordinate Hasdrubal set up wooden torches and used them on two thousand oxen. They put it on their horns, and the two thousand Libyan infantry, dressed in Roman armor, prepared an ambush. Third, the cattle moved with some camp followers, and the Romans, blocking the pass to the Apennine, came down from the hill and were confused. Fourth, the Libyans attacked the Romans as a distraction for Hannibal's army to silently escape with their booty. Fifth, the Catrati, Iberian light infantry, aided the North Africans and inflicted heavy casualties on the Romans. Finally, they returned and left the cattle behind. All this time. Despite pleas from Roman subordinates, especially Mincius, Fabius refused to help his troops due to the negative aspects of a night assault, not having enough information, the inexperience of half his army, and potentially facing a more significant loss, which could lead to defections of Roman allies to serve with Hannibal. Fabius resumed the chase against Hannibal back into the Apennine until he reached Geronium. He continued his strategy until the Senate recalled him for religious services but was more likely to explain why he did not defeat Hannibal rapidly. It led Minucius to be the commander and led the Battle of Geronium and its skirmishes. Thanks for watching and please like, comment, subscribe, and enable notifications to see more of my videos.